Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back. So today's video, we are going through my garbage, my garbage, whatever you want to call it. Today we're doing my empties video. I have this big container full of empties in here. And yeah, today we're going to talk about what I went through, what I thought of it, am I going to repurchase it, did I already repurchase some of these things, would I not buy it again, and all that good jazz. So without any further ado, let's get into the video because I've collected a lot since my last one. Alright guys, before we get started on makeup on this channel, it's cruelty free, so the products I'm talking about in today's video, and I'm pretty excited. Like, every time I finish something and I empty it out and I put it in my little empties bin, I'm like really excited about it. And there's also a lot of lashes in here. I went through my lash drawer lately and just decluttered a bunch of lashes that I'm not using, so... I didn't film a lash declutter, that probably would have been a good video, but I just threw them in here, so we have a lot of lashes that I just didn't wear the styles of, they're in here too, but let's start with the first thing, which is the newest empty we finished last night, so this is a body, buddy scrub, um, charcoal and peppermint body scrub. I personally didn't use this, Adam used this all the time, he finished it up last night, and it's, it was a fun time, it's full of air right now, but... It just has like a pepperminty, kind of a menthol-y smell. It's a really good scrub. I got the green tea and lime thing next since he was finishing this one. But because it says green tea and he's very strict about his straight edge thing, he won't drink caffeine or anything that has to do with caffeine since there's caffeine green tea flavoring in this one. He won't use the next one, so I guess I'm using the next one. But I would definitely purchase this again just in a peppermint sense, I guess. Because I didn't realize it was going to be such a big deal, but... Yeah, that was good. I'll get another one. I found it at TJ Maxx for $3.99 for the coconut and lime, or the green tea and lime one. So I would definitely recommend it. I think that came in a Kinder Beauty box, so that's where that one came from. Next up is something I already have backups of, and we're currently using a different scent. So this is the Zion Health, Zion Health? I don't know. I did a video with them a while back for this, and I really enjoyed it. It's the Scalp and Hair Scrub and Pear Blossom. So this is this one. We emptied... The whole thing, it was pretty easy to go through, honestly. We stopped using it for a while when I was trying to, like, um, try a bunch of different hair products and stuff. But we finished it up, and we're also using this one. It smells so good. So the pear blossom smells fresh, too. But this is our favorite scent. So this is the coconut vanilla one, the vanilla coconut. It's just a hair and scalp scrub. I use it when I know my hair color is already faded. I don't use it when my hair color is like fresh. I use it when my hair color is a little bit faded. Detoxify my scalp, clean it out and everything. And also it's really good for like underneath his beard where his skin gets really dry. I don't want him to put it all in his beard to like detox that because you don't want it dry. But underneath here where he has dry skin, I think it's great for that. It's a really good scrub and it smells fantastic. This vanilla coconut one is my favorite scent. Oh, we're already like making it. We just got this one. Already making a dent in that. I didn't know we used that much already. I need another one of this scent. Okay, some lashes. We have some Lily lashes in Layla, which used to be my favorite style, but I'm not wearing them currently, so there's no need to hold on to them. We have the ColourPop Baddie lashes. I just didn't like the style of these, but I do like the, the cases, like the Lily lashes case. Like, it's not too, too thick, but it's decently thick. So I did not like the style of these. I only wore them once, unfortunately. The Likely lashes in... Hostile Honey. They just weren't my style, but I love the cute case and packaging for our stuff. The Glam Light Lashes. So, this is one pair. This is my first ever pair of Deep Dish. They started to fall apart, so one is a lot more sparse and flaky than the other, so it was time to retire them. And I also threw away another just box of this. I put the case in an empty case. So, oh, there's an extra pair of lashes. I just threw the lashes away and kept the case and put the Deep Dish in because this was too bulky, but... I went through one pair of those and ruined them already. And then I missed the other day when it was like National Pizza Day or something. They had the pizza sale, the pizza lashes for half price. They were only six bucks, but your girl was broke, so she couldn't buy any more of them. But oh my gosh, that's a great deal. Um, the next one is the Chrysan lashes from Lily Lashes. I bought them at Ulta a while back. Did not like the style whatsoever. Another pair of Likely Lashes, these are the Anxious Angel. They're just super, super fine and thin, not really my style, but I did like them when I first got them. It's a lot of lashes, I'm just running through them. Violet Voss, I do not care. Cute style, didn't like the band on these, but I got them from Target and they were okay. Well, that's freaking disgusting, what is going on? I pulled this off, I didn't realize this was under here. It's so gross. It's so gross. I don't even know where those came from unless the one fell open or something. Uh, feline Lashes and Ragdoll. I don't remember where I got these from. Not like them. I don't know. I don't remember wearing them at all. 
Lily Lashes in Houston was okay style. Band is very stiff on these, wasn't a fan. Lily Lashes, Lily Lashes in Miami. I'm wearing Miami right now. Don't tell me the style didn't change because I like these that I just got. But I was not a fan of these. Also, I clipped these and they're a little short, so those can go. The Coco Lashes in Fifth Avenue. I bought these because it's what Eleanor Neal said she wears in all of her videos. I'm going to give these another chance. I'm actually not going to declutter these. I'm not going to call that an empty. I'm going to give them one more shot. Uh, the next one is the Zoe Sweet Lashes in No Filter from Target. Did not like. And we have some embellishes, an icon. They were just too flary, then the edges didn't want to lay down. So those are the lashes. I don't know what these are. Um. Oh, I think you know what? They might have came in my little Jeffree Star like tattoo box where I kept some lash, like my lash coffin. So these might be like cocoa lashes, but that's gross. And I don't know why they're so flat. But those are the lashes. Let's move on to other stuff now because that was a lot of lashes. Next up is my body wash. It's the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Shower Cream. This is the third one? It's probably the third one I went through actually. I think it's the third one I went through. Yeah, it's like $20 at Sephora, which is a lot for a body wash. I would 100% purchase this a million times over. I'm going to wait till I go through my current body wash that I got in a boxy lux, which is like a it's like a kind of like an aerosol pump foam thing. So I'm going to finish that one. Um, it kind of smells like cherry blossoms. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But I got one of those and I thought the pump was kind of cool. So I'm going to finish that up. Then I'm going to buy another one of these 100%. Now I hate being one of those people who's like, oh my god, I wish I was on this PR list. I don't want to be that person. But Sol de Janeiro <laughs> and or First Aid Beauty. <laughs> Hear me out. I love you. <laughs> Next up is the Pixie Vitamin C Juice Cleanser. This I love because it has like one of these little pumpy things. Like you pump it onto your, like your cotton around or your pad or whatever you're using. I love the convenience of this. I thought it was a really great cleanser. Very soft on the skin and the smell wasn't overwhelming. So I really enjoyed that. I think I went through that pretty fast too. Uh, next we have a candle. This is the Mahogany Teakwood High Intensity Candle. We do have another one of these. I think Adam got it as a gift so I have an extra one of these. Because we burned through this one relatively fast and it was really nice, but it's very strong. Like, if you have a very, very small room and you close the room off, it's going to be too much. You need to, like, have an open area for it. For yet. Next up is the Foxy Bay Flaming Glow Leave-In Conditioner. We got this in a Medusa's makeup box about two months ago. And we finished this whole thing up and I went to TJ Maxx and I found this. And it's like a, like a, I don't know, it's like a regular spray bottle. It sprays out the leave-in conditioner. I thought it'd be like a tube like this. It's not, but I really enjoy it. And I'm so glad we found it. I've been like in TJ Maxx a lot because I love TJ Maxx and I haven't seen another one. So we got really lucky that as soon as we found, we ran out of the small one, we found it in TJ Maxx and it was eight bucks. Like if I find another one, I'm buying a back above it. I love that leave-in. It's great. And it smells so good. Uh, next up, I actually don't usually keep bottles of hair color in here, but I have a few, so I don't know what I've been thinking. Purple Rain by Arctic Fox. Need I say more? I go through a lot of purple rain. Next color is virgin pink. I use this, well, I just dyed my hair blue, but normally it's purple. And I use ritual purple rain and a squish of the pink. So when it like lightens up, it gets more pink instead of more red. So this is empty. Uh, is there more hair color? Oh yeah, there's more hair color. All right. <laughs> All right, so we have another bottle of purple rain. So I finished two of a big sized. I, I go through a lot of it and we also have a mini of Purple Rain so we have three bottles of Purple Rain that I went through since the last empties and I probably threw some away because I don't usually put hair color in my empties but I go through it a lot you guys my Amazon purchases are mostly hair dye <laughs> all right next up the continuous setting mist from Morphe this is a really yeah, no, it's just squirting nothing at this point. It just like darted me in the face of the last essence I had. It is a really fine, beautiful mist. I would totally purchase this again because it's so finely misted. However, I have a lot of setting sprays that I'm trying to finish up before I buy another one of that. So I love it. I love how fine it is. I feel like I went through the second bottle that I've had really fast. Um, I feel like because it is such a fine mist, I go through it more. I don't know how. I usually the same amount of product. I go through a lot faster than regular setting spray, so I'm trying to finish up at least one more setting spray before I buy another one. 
So I'm going to hold off on buying that for now. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have a primer. So we finally finished. This was at Adam's house forever being unused. So it took me forever to finish it. But this is the Rose Quartz Priming Mist from ColourPop. This was discontinued a long time ago, but I've went through several of these. And if it came back, I would repurchase this. It's a great mist. Look, we're getting like halfway. Oh, it's easy. We're like halfway down this thing already. We got a lot out of here. All right, next up is more lashes. Velour lashes. These are like 20 something dollars at Ulta. Uh, I don't know what style these are in. I don't know. Velour, I didn't like them. I hated the band on it so much. The Lily Lashes in uh, LA, did not like either. It's so hard because when I buy lashes like the Lily Lashes ones on sale online and stuff, I can't ever tell like how's it actually going to look on me. So it's very difficult. Uh, what is this? Oh, the Harper and Art Exfoliating Sugar Scrubs that came in the Fab Fit, Fab Fit Fun Box. We went through this really fast. It's probably what took us so long to go through this is because we were using these for a while. I really like these cubes. You get in the shower with them and they get kind of like mushable, like malleable, and you can kind of, I flatten them with my hands and then use it on my like body to scrub and exfoliate with. But yeah, it was pretty cool. I kind of like that more than just a regular loose body scrub because I feel like I'm not wasting it when I use a loose body scrub. Like the buddy one, I feel like I'm dropping some in the shower. So I like the cubes. I think that was fun. I wish I had gotten it in both Fat Pit Fun boxes. So next up we have, okay, we have a little mini rose tonic that was also at Adam's house. So I finished this up really fast. We have a coconut scented candle by Ikea. It was from Ikea. And I have another one of these. So I bought two at the same time. It has an okay scent, right? But these were the checkout line at Ikea and they were like, look at this sale item, right? By checkout, it's on sale for $2 each. And I was like, ooh, sale candles. And I got two of them. However, next time I went to Ikea after this, the regular candles are $2. There was no sale. I just got sucked in by the fact that it told me this was on sale, but it's the normal price. So I also don't think it burned for 25 hours. I feel like that's a lie, but you know, regardless, it was okay. And I have another one, but I'm not dying to go reach for it. Last candle, since we're on the candle topic, Tiki Beach by Bath & Body Works. Yeah, Bath & Body Works. This just smells burnt. I don't know if it's like the... It just smells burnt, but it was a really nice, sweet smell. It just smells terrible now that it's burnt out. I don't know. It smells smoky now, but it smelled really good and sweet, and I had it forever. Because I don't, usually don't use too many daytime candles, like the Mahogany Teakwood one we went through and the Coconut one. They don't have like a... A daytime scent to them. I go through a lot more nighttime candles it seems like. If that makes sense. If you're into candles like me you know like daytime and nighttime candles are different. There's a time and a place for each candle. All right next up is the Bianca remover. I had this forever ago and Adam finished this up Christmassy time? The last haunted haunt event they had. I don't know but it's just a coconut cotton round. Bianca Del Rio made these if y'all watch Drag Race but Bianca Del Rio, Bianca Remover, it's just a coconut wipe. You need a lot honestly like to take off a whole face of makeup. I did a video with it a long time ago so I never personally use them but for removing like tons of like body paint and stuff it's really easy to get it off with coconut oil based things. Um, even though I think coconut oil clogs your pores is what I've heard. Next up is a Sigmagic brush foam. Clean my brushes with this foam. I'm already on a new one and I really like it, but I don't know, like, the foam was starting to eat away at the metal. I guess the metal paint over it, I guess? I don't know. But, yeah. I used it. I use it again. I really like it. And it's really easy to do eye brushes with. Ooh, the sponge. Cream Shop sponge. This is my fails for my monthly fails for January. Did not like it. Used it once. Never could use it again. After that, we have another brush cleaner. So this is like a little, like on the go brush cleaner I use at my desk. I don't like deep clean my brushes with this or anything. It is the Bodyography Pro Makeup Brush Cleanser. We got this in a BoxyCharm. I do have another one of these. I get a BoxyCharm in PR and I also pay for a BoxyCharm so I got two of these and I went through one I'll use the other. Next up is the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. I'll be honest I don't wash my face as much as I should. I've been trying a lot more lately now that I got like the lush cleanser and everything and I don't want to expire on me I'm using a lot more cleansers I'm being more responsible. It took me forever to go through this though because I don't really wash my face that much and it sucks I know. I can't blame my skin for being bad if I don't wash my face enough but I've been better the past couple months. 
So the Tatcha Deep Cleanse, I think it's nice. I did find a leak squeezing this really hard bottle to get the last couple pumps out of it was kind of difficult however good product and it did not make my skin feel dry so i enjoyed that about it but i don't know if it's worth the price tag after that we have a big ego mascara mini that came with the tart unleash palette i hate this mascara so i didn't use it we also have a mini kush mascara from milk makeup which i just finished um it did not last the three months it was supposed to. I used to love the Kush mascara, but I feel like maybe the formula changed when they changed the packaging, or maybe it's just the mini that's different. It's not as good as I remember it being, and I don't like it anymore. I would not repurchase it again, but I did enjoy it the first time I had it, so I don't understand. Uh, next, oh, this turmeric face milk from Fourth Ray Beauty. Fourth Ray Beauty. Um, I use this to freaking death. It's just a face milk from ColourPop. This was in the turmeric since I have the matcha one out now. Um, I enjoyed it the first time I used it. I really liked using it every day. But I've been using different products for moisturizers lately. So I don't know what the next time I'll finish one is. But there's a lot in that little bottle. I must say. There's a lot in that little bottle. And I've gifted one to someone. And they finished it like immediately using it so much. So I think it's all how you use it. But they have some good scents. Oh we have the last thing. This is the last thing. So this is a Brie... Briogeo Rosarco Milk Leave-In Spray. So I did enjoy this. I thought it was very nice. It was slipping between the Milk Day Leave-In Conditioner and this one for a while, but now I'm all about the Flaming Glow one from Foxy Bay. So I'm probably not going to repurchase the Briogeo Briogeo one, but I did enjoy it very much. So that is it for my empties. I have a huge pile of trash in front of me. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to know something you recently finished and are definitely going to purchase down below. For me, I know I'm definitely repurchasing the body wash once I finish the one I'm up on because I love the Sol de Janeiro scent. I think it's amazing. And of course, I'm going to repurchase candles and hair dye. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.